whole point of doing this record the way we're doing it is to make sure that we're showcasing Chester's voice in a way that really shines a light on him and his vocal abilities and how, how great these lyrics and uh, melodies were. So that's really what we kept in mind as we deconstructed the songs and started overwriting them. So initially when we met SJ Jones, she's the producer for this new album, she ended up producing and co-producing five tracks on the album Amends. We really wanted to work with one producer on this album. For the pre-production of this album, what we would do is bring SJ out to Arizona. SJ would come out and spend three days at a time with us and we would write, 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 and then she'd go home and she'd work at home and compile everything that we did and then she'd come back out and we would do it all, all over again. It really contributed to us being overly prepared when we came into this uh, studio environment. So the engineer on this project is Brian Virtue. Uh, he's done a lot of producing, engineering, and mixing. He's a great engineer. He's worked with bands like Korn. He's mixed and engineered and produced bands like uh, 30 Seconds to Mars. He did a, a few of the audio, a couple of the Audio Slave albums. He's done some really big things, but more importantly, albums that I like. He was a great choice for this, and then once we got him into the room, he's really working with SJ really well. The two of them together are creating some real magic in that room. Oh, in the middle of it is also the da da ba da wa step, right, okay. so you won't even read But yeah, like from a musical theater, like, ba da Totally. And then I really restart. Like One of the reasons that I hit up Brian to be the engineer uh, for this project is that I'm a huge fan of his body of work that he's worked on before and he really understood the sonic fabric that we were going for for this record. So uh, it's really heavy, really moody um, and for these songs that we have written this body of music around the concept of these songs and around Chester. So this time around really focusing on tones just making sure we get like really weighted drum tones we get really aggressive guitar tones we're just gonna get this crazy cutting bass this team uh, has just really come so over prepared I love to say it's kind of my mantra on life is is to be over prepared and then go with the flow and I think everybody the band and and myself have sat together for almost a year you know working through these songs and making sure that we love every single part I feel like now everything is just falling into place um, and the vibes are good we're all staying in house together which is my favorite way to make a record one of my favorite albums is the Incubus make yourself record and they stayed in that house all together in Malibu and I think there's something um, tangible that you can feel when a band is staying together, uh, just kind of eating, sleeping, breathing, bringing all that energy and, and imprinting onto the record. Mace just showed up last night, uh, so now the band is back together. The team is together. Mace and Sean came through last night around 11ish uh, just to listen to what we've done on Starting to Fly, and I think it's really awesome for me as um, kind of steering the ship when I can see Sean get that like little boy smile on his face, I'm like, okay, cool. Like we're we're getting, we're, we're headed in the right direction, and and that makes me super stoked. I'm Brian Virtue. I'm the engineer on the new Grey Days record. Um, got a call a while back from S. J. Jones about a. Uh, about helping her out and recording this and uh, as soon as I heard the material I was really excited. Getting the demos and, and digging in was, uh, was fascinating. It just brought back so much hearing his voice and uh, I never got to record Chester or work with him but he was such a big part of the, the uh, where my career was almost haunting to to hear these these vocals and new music under them and which it's exciting to be a part of the project you definitely hear Chester's original influences much more in these early vocals and uh, 
but it's still 100% him. Such an amazing talent, and he—you can hear him in every one of his performances. It's completely from his soul. So I, you know, I dropped my Harley and ended up being stuck in my house, healing. Go on the drive here. I'm. I'm I'm playing satellite radio and I'm hearing Van Halen. I'm listening to all some of the great records that are actually done in this studio. So I was getting really amped. John has just put so much work uh, into this record. Uh, Kristen, uh, the guy probably hadn't slept for weeks over tone. He brought 12,000 guitar amps, heads in here, and guitars to make sure we just have the perfect tones on these songs. And it's happening. Between Brian's ear and SJ's ear, the tones are amazing. A lot of the track, a lot of the vocal tracks on this album are older than the men's. A couple years even older. And when you're talking the difference between 19 years old and 20 or 17, that's a, diff a big difference vocally. And the style is different. Like you can hear the style is different on some of the tracks. That's off Awakening, which is which is still cool. Um, it's full circle to me because we've done everything, and now we're coming all the way back to the first record and the oldest stuff last. This is the final one. Even I'm sure we might do some acoustic versions. Maybe another five song EP acoustic versions. I would think, but uh, I'm looking at it like this is the last record, even if we do some of you know, this is the last big full length record, so we're giving it all we got. The first record was, is super emotional, and I think this one will be too. But it's, um, you know, there's some distance between Chester passing away and now, and so it's it's not as fresh of a wound. Although it's, you know, it's, it'll always be a wound, but it's not. We don't come in here with some of the sadness I think we had in the first one. So now we're actually happy that we're we're fulfilling this instead of you know carrying that weight. That's a hard thing to say because we'll always be carrying the weight, but it's not. The mood is different. You know what I mean? It's uh, it, it's happier. You know, I don't I don't tear up when I hear him singing, like I did on the first record. So it's I'm able to have the distance between the event and now, and 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 be able to listen to it with with happiness instead of grief. I've made a lot of records, and there's always a couple songs on each record that I don't like. On the Amends record, I like them all, and on this one, I actually like them all. I think I like them better. It's it's um, there's there's no song, even the ones that we weren't as happy with, with the originals. There's none of those that turned out in a way that I'm like, oh, I don't really like this song that much. We were able to do things to them to make them all bangers. I think so. I'm excited about it. I feel like this is the record we would have wrote as a second record. If Chester was still alive, the vocals would probably be different. Um, but musically, I think these would be, have been the songs that we came up with, because it's it's us making them, right? The the first record, we're kind of digging into the past to find things for inspiration, and and these ones were really created like a band again. You know, me, Sean, and Mace, and S.J. just kind of curating these things in a way that that just felt right for us today. You know, obviously we have the the legacy vocals on there, but it's. Um, I think this is the record we would have done musically had Chester still been here. Songs like Saturation and Starting to Fly, people are really going to get back to the Chester's roots and hear that angst and that screams that they came to love about him. This is all about making the best record we can possibly make and making sure that this music gets to see the light of day. You know, It was just erased from history for, for so long. <laughs>